A thermometer in a science lab displays the temperature in both Celsius and Fahrenheit. If the mercury in the thermometer rises to 56 degrees Fahrenheit, what is the corresponding Celsius temperature? So right from the get-go, there is a formula that if you get, have the Celsius temperature, it'll give you the Fahrenheit. If you have the Fahrenheit, it'll give you the Celsius. Now I have a bad memory, so I always have to pseudo-derive it. And maybe in future videos, we'll totally derive it once we get a little bit more algebra. If you just know the boiling and freezing points in both scales, you should be able to figure out the relationship between the two. Now, the way I always remember it is that there's a relationship of 5 ninths or 9 fifths between the two, and then you have to add or subtract 32. And the way I think about it is Celsius, the, the, the Fahrenheit number is always going to be larger. So if we start with, or at least while we are in kind of our normal everyday living scales, you know, when water is in its liquid form and all of that. So if you start with a Celsius, I say, oh, I have to make it bigger. So I have to say, OK, I'm going to multiply that by 9 fifths. That will make it bigger. And then I'm going to add 32 to it. And the reason why I know to add 32 is because when Celsius is 0, 0 times 9 fifths is still 0. And we know when Celsius is 0, Fahrenheit is going to be 32. So I know I have to add 32 to it. So at least my gut is telling me that the formula is 9 fifths times Celsius times the Celsius degrees plus 32. And you can verify that this works for the boiling point. This definitely works for the freezing point. When Celsius is 0, this is going to be 0. You add 32, that's going to be Fahrenheit. When Celsius is 100, 9 fifths times 100 is 180, plus 32 is 212. So this works. Now, what they've given us is the Fahrenheit. They've given us the Fahrenheit temperature, and we need to get the Celsius temperature. Now, I could just put the 56 in here and solve for C, and that will completely work. Or I could solve for C using this, so I have the equation for Celsius in terms of Fahrenheit, either way. So let's, let's do it the second way, so we have the second equation. So if we subtract 32 from both sides of this equation, so if we subtract 32, subtract 32 from both sides of this equation, we get Fahrenheit minus 32 is equal to 9 fifths times Celsius. Now to solve for Celsius, we can multiply both sides of this equation times 5 ninths. Multiply both sides of this equation times 5 ninths. 5 over 9. And so we will get 9 cancels with 9, 5 cancels with 5. That was the whole point behind multiplying by the reciprocal. And so we are left with, we are left with, remember this 5 ninths is going to be t times this whole left side. We are left with Celsius. Celsius is equal to 5 ninths times Fahrenheit minus 32. So we just rearrange this equation up here to get this equation down here. And when, when I, der I didn't derive the equation in this video, I just kind of pseudo remembered it, make sure I got the equation right. But you can derive it if you just remember that when, you, it's essentially if you know how to find the equation of a line, you say, you say, well, when Celsius, if you use the x coordinate of Celsius, when Celsius is 0, Fahrenheit is, sorry, when, x, when Celsius is 0, Fahrenheit is 32. And and when Celsius is 100, Fahrenheit is 212, and find the equation of the line between these two points. Don't worry about it if you don't know that. All you need to know for this problem is this right here. But if you know how to solve the equation for the line, you would come up with this answer right here, and you wouldn't have to memorize it. Now, now that we've actually gotten this far, let's just put in 56 degrees for the Fahrenheit temperature and figure out what the Celsius temperature is. So if we put 56 in there, we're going to have 5 ninths times 56 times 56 minus 32 is equal to the Celsius temperature. So 56 minus 32, let me continue it up here. Let me, well, just so we get, it looks a little bit more, looks a little bit more that we're going in this general direction. 56 minus 30 is 26, minus 2 is 24. So this is going to be 24, so it's going to be 5 ninths. 5 ninths times 24. This right here, that right there, is 24. 5 ninths times 24 is going to be equal to c. And let's see if we can simplify this at all. So 24 is, so this is the same thing as 5 times 24 over 9. 24 is divisible by 3. You divide it by 3, you get 8. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So 5 times 8 is equal to 40 over 3. Celsius, degrees Celsius. Now if we want to write this as a mixed number, 3 goes into 40 13 times, 
right? 13 times, and you have a remainder of 1. So it's 13 and 1 third. And we can even check that. 3 times 13 is 39, plus 1 is 40. And if this wasn't obvious to you, you could actually just take 3 into 40. Four, 3 goes into 4 one time. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract, you get 1. Bring down that 0. 3 goes into 10. 3 times, 3 times 3 is 9. You subtract, you get a remainder of 1. So it's 3 and 1 third. So this is 13 and 1 third degrees Celsius. So if it's 56 degrees outside in Fahrenheit, it's 13 and 1 third degrees in Celsius.